Okay, so it looks like we're all set for the final layer of our painting. We have done our color blend in the sky as well as the clouds. We have the first two layers done, so now we're ready for the final layer. The first step of this, one of my favorite parts of the whole process, is the tape removal. We want to check and make sure where the top piece of tape is. We're going to carefully begin to remove the tape, peeling slowly and pulling away from the painting itself. Alright, and there it is. We've got a nice clean edge along all the borders there, and the border is almost the same size all the way around. Okay, so, some tips on the silhouette. What I'm going to be dealing with on this round, this is no longer the practice round, I have a much larger silhouette and it has much more detail. Um, first tip would be figure out where you want it to be. You can place it anywhere along the bottom here. Um, so try to find out where you want to place it. I think I'm going to place mine right about there, okay? Um, now, as you begin to trace, have yourself a nice, nicely sharpened pencil, okay? The nice sharp tip on it, that's going to give you the best tracing if possible. What we're going to do is we're going to trace all the way around the outside of the tree, all the way around, get the complete outline of the tree. Once I get the outline of the tree is completed, then I'm going to go back in and try to find these inside spaces, any holes in there. We're just trying to identify what is the tree and what is not the tree. We're just trying to decide what we need to paint black and what we're going to leave as the sky color. But it gets a little trickier once we get onto these more sophisticated silhouettes, especially if you're dealing with a photographic image and not just the silhouette. Try to get as much detail as you possibly can out of the silhouette itself. And keep in mind, once we have this tape down, you do not want to remove the photocopy until you are absolutely sure that you're finished with it. So we're going to take a little bit of tape here, and we're going to just tape down the top two edges. Okay, so we're going to tape down there. We're going to tape it down there. Okay, the carbon paper does not need to be taped down at all. Again, we're putting the dark black side face down, the dark gray side face up and we place that underneath. Now the carbon paper doesn't need to be taped down because your silhouette might be larger than the carbon paper is anyway, but we place it right underneath the photocopy and move the carbon paper as needed. Alright, so now we should be ready for the final step of the painting, adding our black silhouette on top of our other layers. Once you have checked and made sure that you have the entire silhouette traced and all of the detail is present, then it's time to then remove the photocopy. Please remember, do not remove the photocopy until you've made absolutely sure that you have all the detail. So I'm going to go ahead and remove, carefully taking the tape off. Uh, from my painting. The carbon paper can be placed back. The photocopy, I'm going to carefully remove the tape off. And then I highly recommend that you keep the photocopy with you while you're painting. That way you can double check and make sure that you're painting the right areas. Now, thinking about the materials that we're going to need, there's a wide variety of small brushes that could be used for this purpose. Keep in mind that we want to get a nice rounded brush. We do not want any large brushes, okay? And we don't want the squared brushes. We really want to find the ones that have the small rounded brushes not the squared brushes. The only other material that we need then is the color that you're going to be using for your silhouette. Pay close attention to what you're doing here. If you get black anywhere else on the painting, that's going to be a really hard thing to fix. If it does happen, you can always turn that into a bird. If it's down near the ground, you could turn it into another tree or a flower. Um, but we really cannot fix any black that gets places that we don't want it to be. You have to turn it into something. So pay close attention. Don't overload the brush either. You want to take the barest amount of paint every time that you load up the brush, okay? Just a little bit right up near the top of the brush. 
and that's how we're going to set about painting this. Have fun with this, but try to stay focused as you paint, okay? Let's get to work. So, here we go, let's paint it. 